What's up guys, Isaac here, and I want to talk about the abundance mindset and why you should have it, right? So what's the abundance mindset? The abundance mindset is an understanding of the law of value. It's also an acknowledgement that the world is the shit and that you're the shit. What do I mean by this? If you understand the law of value, you understand that if you give value out to the world, you're going to get the value back. It might not be instant, but it'll happen over time. So if you impact people's lives, if you impact people in some way and create immense value, you will get that back, right? And understand that the world is the shit and you're the shit is understanding that there's plenty of resources in the world. There's almost an unlimited amount of resources in the world. There's heaps of money to go around. There's heaps of subscribers. There's heaps of houses. There's he heaps of lots of shit in the world, right? To go around. The world is the shit and that you're the shit that you will be able to step up to the situation if it arises, even if things get taken away, all right? So how does this relate to abundance? Now, in the YouTube community particularly, and I'm sure this happens in a lot of other communities, a lot of people tend to be secretive. They don't wanna give out their secrets. They don't wanna tell people how they gain subscribers. They don't wanna tell people how they have their creative process or any of that stuff. Now, I'm the opposite. When someone inboxes me, even though my YouTube following isn't that huge, when someone inboxes me asking me how I grew my channel, I'm going to be transparent with them. I'm going to tell them as it is, exactly what I did, how I market my videos, my creative process, and all that stuff. Because I have an understanding that the world is shit. Is the, not the world is shit, that the world is the shit. There's plenty of resources. Just because you're winning doesn't mean that I can't win. We can all win, right? That's what it's all about, value. There's plenty of resources, and if someone takes the advice I'm giving them and becomes a competitor, more power to them. I'm not worried about that, because that brings the other element of this, that I'm the shit. Just because they're doing the same thing as me doesn't mean that they're going to do it like me. I'm going to do it differently. It's also the same reason why I put out these videos for free. I put out something like 200 videos or something now. I haven't really sold you guys anything, because I know that I'm capable of doing more. I'm the shit. I know that I'm going to step up and bring even more value that if I do release something that's going to be a course or something where I actually charge money, it's going to be really good. So all these videos I'm putting out doesn't limit me. Some people put out a video and they try to monetize it straight away. They try to sell it straight away because they have that scarcity mindset. They don't trust their capabilities. They don't trust their faculties and their ability to create. They know that, oh, okay, I have these 10 videos. I better sell them because I'm going to run out of ideas. Complete opposite. I'm not going to run out of ideas. I'm going to keep having more ideas. I'm not worried about you starting a YouTube channel. I'm not worried about you starting your own animation videos. I'm going to make my own animation videos. It doesn't matter to me. The world is the shit and I'm the shit, right? Which reminds me of um, how this concept of abundance relates to many other areas as well. It's not just about YouTube or content marketing or any of that stuff. It relates to everything in life. For example, an abundant man in a relationship, an abundant man knows that he is capable of getting into another relationship or capable of attracting other women because of the value that he provides. He knows that the world is full of people, right? So he does not have insecurities. He is more likely to be secure in his relationship because of this fact. The man that has scarcity, the man that is not abundant, tends to be more needy. He tends to think that what he has, he got lucky, and if he loses it, that's the end. That's why these men tend to hit up their girlfriends when they go out, worried about the guys they're hanging out with because they need their scarcity. They don't want someone to steal it. There's a limited resource in the world. Don't take what's mine. That's scarcity. And it's not only just in relationships, it's anything. Fitness. Some people don't want to give fitness advice because they're scared other people can get bigger than them. Some people try hog extra shifts at work because they're scared that someone else is going to make more money than them. It's all kinds of bullshit. Scarcity is disgusting. Trust me, you want to have the abundance mindset. Greatness comes from abundance. It forces you to step up. It forces you to step up. I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier in the video, but I want to give props to RSD Tyler because he actually um, helped me get this mindset and really embody it. And that's another part of the abundance mindset. You're willing to give credit where credit is due. Just because I'm giving someone else credit, just because I'm linking to someone else's blog or YouTube channel, doesn't mean that I can't succeed. Doesn't mean that it's the end of the world, that 
it's over for me, all right? Abundance is greatness. Just remember the game where Kobe Bryant was playing with Michael Jordan. At some point in the game, Kobe stopped and asked Michael Jordan for some advice, right? He asked him for some advice. Michael Jordan actually told him advice. He told him how he does his jump shot or whatever it was. I asked him for advice. He'd give me advice straight from his heart. Been down a half court and he wanted to know how, when I turn around on my jump shot, how to feel the defense. I told him you should feel the defense with your legs. Once you feel the defense with your legs, you can take advantage of that. He didn't lie about it. He was 100% transparent. Because Kobe, I mean, sorry, because Michael Jordan understands that he's the shit. He understands that if he gives Kobe this information, Kobe can do what he wants with it. Kobe can become great, but that's not going to impact Michael Jordan's greatness. Michael Jordan's going to keep doing what he's doing. He doesn't have the scarcity mindset. He's not trying to hold the secrets. He knows that there's only one Michael Jordan. That's him. Kobe can be Kobe. So that's the abundance mindset. And I challenge you guys to have it. It's going to really force you to step up, really force you to embrace your faculties and have supreme confidence in yourself. And it's a really good mindset to have. So yeah, hope you guys like that. Comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Peace.